プレゼンテッドバイクイーンロゼ We're gonna pick up right where we left off. It's t a l k i n g about the data. <laughs> He's like, Oh, my brother, you just came out of the room. <laughs> yeah, John's mad. And Michael's nervous. Oh, my no coy, no, 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 そんなこと言って本当は一人が寂しくなって出てきただけのくせに<笑>マイクティーズザミズウフォア You said that but in reality this one person was lonely and just came out Cheesing him and the CG's change John has no reply <笑> But he's petting Nana And when he's like, without denying anything, John piped nothing to Michael and patted Nana's head, who's shaking her nails and slipping under his feet. Hanashi was in a gara benkyo or stay at a man you hire no car. Futu a damat the yarumonoda. He's like, while you're talking and studying, it's normal to shut up. He's like, it's the normal thing. Kisei gaining it or our no kirai nanda yo. Michael's like, I don't like being obsessed with preconceived ideas. I have my own way of studying. He's so precocious. John pipes in, he's like, You just say that, and then in the end, you won't always get good grades. Michael pipes in. Michael Pipes and. Nesan, Nisan, you are worried at all. Or what? Taik Kaike Nanda, Shikataganai. He's like, it's not bad, just a little below the standard for his grade. And then after a pause, he's like, it's worse than older sisters and older brothers. Or it's uh, worse than older sisters and older brothers, but I'm in a sports club, so I can't help it. He's like, don't get on me about that. And CG's. Nigatena Kotoa. John's like, if you're not good at it, just tell someone who is good at it to help. For example, and then he points to himself, like me. <laughs> They're both so full of themselves. Leave that. <laughs> he yelled it too. You can tell. And when do you comment on this? She's like, John pointed to himself. Yeah, and John's like, if you don't know about studying, ask me about it. Michael's like, no, I asked my sister. I don't like my brother after a pause. <laughs> like, for this. And Wendy's like, John is loosening his lips. As if he can't believe it. Chotta mate! So they were jitsuni kikis de naranaina. Nazi boku a yinda? So they were boku na to hitsio naito yu yimika? John's like, wait a minute. I won't let that just go away. Why am I no good? Why does. uh, What does it mean that you don't need me? Boku mo my no benkyo ga mitai. Misero. <laughs> John's now demanding. He's like, I want to see you study too. Come on. Show me. Show me now. 
And when he's like, I made myself a small bubble so he wouldn't notice me. And then she's like, he just complains, but John really likes Michael. You can tell. Michael says, my brother's way of teaching is so difficult that I don't understand it anymore. He's like a science geek. And John's like, so I'm always telling you that which is like what is difficult. So like whenever he has problems, he's like always the one that's lecturing him. Michael's like, I asked my sister because it's a pain to decode it. <laughs> John has no reply at all. He's like, sister? All loud. <laughs> when he's like, I was strongly t trying to take off and then suddenly pulled back. So like, John grabbed <laughs> She's like, uh, what? Allowed? Michael ni benkyo wo shiete iru tokoro. He's demanding of her, I'd like to see how you teach Michael to, how to study, like right now. She's like, it doesn't matter. Aloud and trailed off. And John's like, thank you, so start now. And you can see that they're all sitting at the table again now. And she's like, uh... <laughs> It's kind of cute, their interaction. I'm still not going to play their routes, though, because that's, like, giving me the heebie-jeebies. Yep. But the brothers' interactions are really cute, like, throughout the story. When he's like, John looks happy and sits next to Michael. And she tells him aloud, even if you say so, you're not doing anything else right now, right? Question mark. Because he's usually busy with something and he just came back from reading his book. Michael, Nesa ni nanika shitsumon shiro. Omae no koto da kara, douse wa kara nai tokoro da rake da ro. He tells Michael, he's like, ask your sister any questions. This is all about you, so why don't you have any questions? Like, he's like, why aren't you asking anything right now? Like, why are you just sitting there? <laughs> he's glaring at him. And Michael's like, you. Shitsumon wo suru koto wa yama no yoni arunda. Dashi o shimuna. Jibun de kimerare nai no nara, boku ga kimete yatte mo ii. John's not having it. He's like, there are a lot of questions to ask, so don't give up. And if you can't decide them for yourself, I'll do it for you. He's so forceful about this. Kind of annoying, I get it. And Wendy comments that John quickly, like to herself, quickly reached out to take Michael's notebook, flipping it around, and Michael quickly picked it back up. And you can see this, like, in the next DJ scene. Because this is this one right here. And then it changes. And he's grabbed his book. <laughs> Yeah, Michael's all mad now. But anyway, he tells him, you say nothing but annoying things. Today's studying is over. So he's like, I'm ending it right now. And now John's all like upset. He's like, why did you give up now? And then he's like, I'm sorry, and trails off. Too forceful. And when he comments to herself, Michael began to put away his study tools. Obviously, John didn't want to see him quit his studying. She's like, the conversation between them is very funny, aside from whether the parties are able to properly communicate to each other. That's like a different thing. And it's changed again. With music. Wendy asks them to like cut the bad atmosphere. Shall we have tea? She's like, it's funny, but I can't let this air go on. 
Michael tells them I'm gonna go to sleep now anyway. She's like, do you really want to sleep? Isn't it still early? Michael's like, actually, I was called in for tomorrow's football game and a match, and I have to get up early. So he's like, it's not you guys. Wendy's like, two of them. So you have to get up early, and then you have a lunch, right? Like, you need one? Michael cuts her off. He's like, you don't have to do anything, sister. You know I can make my own bento, so you can go on ahead and sleep in and wake up slowly. She's like, you don't have to be afraid to ask me to them. Michael's like, I don't want to bother my sister. Kinda guilt trips her here. He's like, I can cook too, trailing off. And he's like, you know that, right? I mean, I couldn't have eaten all of it. But that candy was really good. So he's like, you should have known this if you had eaten it, basically. She's like, if so, please help me make up with the apology for the sweets, and I'll make breakfast as well for you. Wendy's like, if there was a noise from the kitchen in the morning, I would get up anyways, right? Changed again. Yes. <laughs> John is incapable of being in the kitchen, so this is funny. Here's the new CG. He's all trying to cut in. Like, don't leave me out. But anyway, he's like, okay, I'll help you too. えー、兄さんが台所仕事の役に立つとは思えないんだけど。Michael's like, yeah. Charlie off. And then he's like, I don't think our brother can help in the kitchen as a job. Like he's just cutting it. He's like, no. <laughs> 失礼だな。僕だって食器を洗うことぐらいはできる。John's like, I'm sorry, but I can even wash the dishes for you guys. Still trying. And Michael's kind of confused. He's like, you mean washing the dishes after eating? Question mark. They're all nervous about this. He must be really bad in the kitchen. Like, you find out when Peter Pan asks him about this, like, he even confesses he can't cook, so... Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> He's all trying to yell. You can see, like, they go all big lettered when that happens. And what are you saying? Washing will occur even while making. That's what he shouted. Washing will occur even while making food. So here's Michael cutting in again, and he's like, isn't it something that you shouldn't declare too proudly? Brother, you're stupid to say the least. He was talking about how like he's trying to like butt in and be like, well, you guys will need the dishes cleaned, so I can be there while you guys are cooking. Like, this is impossible, like, you can't just cook without cleaning dishes. And Michael's not having it, he's like, mm, you're being stupid. <laughs> Wendy's like, okay, this is not so good. She's talking to them. She's like, let's all get up early and make a lunch together. She's like, it's fine. Huh? She's trying to end the bad atmosphere. She's a peacekeeper. She's like, to herself, not a bark while shaking her tail because of the noise. And it changes again here. And then she's like, oh, Nana will also want to help Michael, right? To Nana, the dog. <laughs> the dog rates higher than John. Nana barks again and puts her hands on the table. <laughs> Michael even comments. 
He's like, ha ha ha, Nana seems a lot more useful than my brother. Mate, Michael. They say you can't get him. Nana, he's so cute. John's like, wait, Michael, think calmly. Nana can't wash the dishes. <laughs> Poor John. He just wants to be included. She changes her face. And Wendy's like, I couldn't stand John's disgruntled attitude, and he made it seem like a big blow, so she's gonna like kick him always down, basically. She tells them aloud, ha ha ha, what should we do when you're burning out against Nana, really, John? She like ends the comment. N and John's like, sister? She's thinking, is he aware or conscious of it? That she was teasing him? She's like, John looks down in embarrassment. She's thinking to herself, their attitude is strange and I can't stop laughing. After all, I laughed so hard, it became a tearful laugh. And she thinks to herself, oh, it's fun. I wish I had this kind of happy time forever. And it scene breaks here. Fun fact, this is really hard to translate because the backdrop doesn't want to like let you scan the lettering on the yellow little text box. Like that is the most annoying thing ever. She's thinking to herself here, we went to bed a little bit earlier than usual this night. So it's gonna be the night and pretty soon Peter Brown's gonna show up. And if I knew what was going to happen onward from now, I would have been immersed in this more mundane every day, a bit heavier than I was, trailing off to herself. And then she's thinking to herself here, how to, because she can't fall asleep. She's like, I feel stiff and stiffer. And it's at the noises you can hear. And their noises are getting louder and she's like I feel stiff stiffer and stiffer and she's like all upset now she's like what is this she's like uh hmm <laughs> and then she's like the window glass woke me up it was making a loud noise and she's like it's too strange for the sound of the wind And then it changes to her bedroom. And she's like, I think something strange is happening to herself. Gently, you go opening your eyes and then go take a look at or the room with as little movement as possible. Move to your bedroom. It's cute! And she's freaking out. She's like, the curtain fluttered gently in the wind. When I saw it, I was immediately drawn to have cold blood. Like her veins turned to ice. And she thinks to herself, you should have confirmed that the window was locked before going to bed. The key is, of course, on the inside. It's here on the second floor, the window, because that's where her bedroom is. And she's like, you'd never open the window by yourself, right? She's like, did I do that? And she's like, it was very small, but I heard a sound that was certainly footsteps. Still talking to herself. This is a situation where it seems that someone has entered and my heart beats as if in an emergency. You can hear her heart beating. She's like, well, someone, I mean, I have to call for help after a pause. She's like, it may be a robbery, and if you do that, though, you could lose your life if you move too badly in this situation. At any rate, a person who comes in through a window cannot be legitimate, she thinks to herself. She closes her eyes. I closed my eyes tightly and desperately restrained my body, which seemed to tremble in fear, so that they could not realize what I had noticed. If there was Nana behind the other door, Nana may repel the intruder, she's thinking. Positively. <laughs> she's 
like, you can even ask John or Michael for help if you can get out in the hallway. She's like, because of the intruder's chance choice of entrance, I have to leave through the corridor no matter what. Trails off to herself like, how am I gonna do that? And she's like freaking out. And then she's like, in order to get a better idea of the current situation, I listen to the noises in the room with my eyes closed, which is stupid. Cause yeah, like the noise is cut off. And she's like, blank. And then she comments on that. She's like, however, the noise or the sound that was heard at the beginning is not heard at all now, no matter how long you wait. In the quiet room, only the sound of my heart feels loud to me. She's like waiting. And she's like, maybe it was just because of my thoughts, like working herself up. It gets intense doing you guys. And she's like, the sound of the glass moving, the curtains, and the footsteps may have just seemed like that to me when I was unable to fall asleep earlier. She's like, I wanted to check into the cold room again, and I opened my eyes wide. There he is, you guys, Creeper Peter. Yeah. She's like, ah, a yell. It actually translates to like, he? That might be our CG, I don't know. It depends. For the thumbnail. Like Peter's pretty, especially in his adult form. And he's cute in his like younger form. But he's a creeper. That's why I'm probably not gonna play his route. He's based on the original Peter Pan, who is not for kids. Like that fairy tale is not for kids. It got readapted to be for kids, though. She comments. She's like, there is a face in front of me. Like, he's literally, like, right over her bed. You find this out. The noise I made wasn't turned into a loud voice. It was the first time I was so surprised. So she, like, let out a silent yell. Because she was so scared. She was so terrified. And his face changes. Ohayo! Yoku nete iru kara, dou yatte okoseba ii ka kangaete ii tanda yo. Here he's like, Good morning, Wendy! You're sleeping a lot, so I was wondering how to wake you up. Creeper. That's his only reply to breaking and entering and like flying over her bed. <laughs> Jerk. There's a second CG. A lot of times it's their facial expressions that change, and like sometimes like stuff around the sides of them. There's a lot of art in here. It's like basically all CGs, and there's only a few parts with sprites, um, at least in the prologue. And it's a straight visual novel, it's not like Alice, like it goes from one scene to the next instead of like visits and like breakups and stuff. So yeah, he's a creeper. Kimi ga okite kurete yo katta. He's like, I'm glad you got up. It would be hard to wait till morning from until now. To like then. Wendy's like, I blink back and forth while he watches with an innocent smile because she's so surprised. She's like, is this happening? She's like, but Peter? And she's like, it's the strange boy I met. And when I called his name, he smiled. Wendy's to herself, like, why is Peter here? And she's like, no, it's gotta be something stranger than that. I mean, I'm sleeping while actually woken up. So she's like, I'm having a daymare, basically. But then she's like, but it was Peter who looked down at me from directly above. She's like, no, but this is real. And you see like he's flying. She's like, in other words, you are looking at him in a position that you can only think of him as floating in the air. Yo, Peter the Creeper. Unbelievable, Peter. Like this is a little different from, yeah. Nega, I'm a totemo kawaii katta kedo. 
君は目がパッチリ開いている方が可愛いね。クリーバー、クリーバー、パンプキンイーター、ピーター、おまがし、オケー。He tells her that sleeping face was also very cute, but it's more cute that you have your eyes open now. クリーバー、he's so creepy. ウェンディ thinks so too. She's like, no reply. And then she's like, Peter was relaxing in the air as if lying on a sofa. She's like, uh, he's floating. And then after a pause, she's like, this guy is floating in the air. And then another pause, she's like, he's floating. Like, this guy is floating in the air. So she's like, in shock because it's to herself. What's that? Bored to stay. And he's like, Wendy, what's wrong with you? Like, Wendy? She's like, oh, it's too weird aloud. Why are you, why are you flying? And she's like, practically screaming this. He tells her, well, I can fly. I can fly. She's like, I can't normally fly. Like, I don't understand the meaning of you being able to be flying. She's like, this makes no sense. New CG with Tinker in there. The female version. I don't know what to do. And so the CGs have changed. New person introduced. This is actually one of two siblings. Tinker Bell is actually split into Tinker and Tink. Tink is the male version. Tinker is the female. The one that he's gonna meet in like the market earlier when he called her after he found who he's gonna kidnap. And uh, this is who we're going to date after Hook. Yes, yes, I'm excited. Tink and Tinker, we will date. Hook, we will date. And then a person called Scissors, we will date. But I am not dating Peter Pan as of right now. So this person is like, I don't understand what she means. She's too loud, too, is what Tinker tells them. She's not introduced yet. That's why they have the question marks for like her name. Wendy's like, I'm stunned by a third party voice I've never heard before. Tinker's so cute. She's just a Sundary. I love her. She's so cute. And she's like, I wonder if she's been there long since she was in the air looking at me like Peter was. Peter's like, how so, Tinker? As I said, she's a very nice person, right? He's like, what do you mean? Creeper. Peter, the. And here Tinker's like, I'm a lot nicer than such a sleepy woman. Peter has no eyes for seeing a real woman. And she's like, you disappoint me. Wendy's like the girl's skin in a fluffy dress, like her outfit, looks thin and shiny as if she were emitting light. So pretty. I will date you. And she's like a stranger existence than Peter's to her. And I don't think she belongs in this world or to this world. She's like, what is this? Still talking to herself. And to herself, she's like a puppet, creature, illusion. And then she's like, after a pause, maybe this is a dream. And then we have a choice here. Wendy's options are top, slap it down for the fairy, or bottom, touch it gently. And we are going to do the bottom because I like her. And also we need to stay neutral. She's like, I gently touched the girl's cheek. And Tinker gets all like upset. She's like, what? Shut up, 
She tells her, hey, you, don't touch me suddenly. And she tells her, don't be surprised or reacted like that. Ah, humans can't touch me. Fairies are delicate creatures, don't you know? And this is where we're going to stop the video. Because we have now hit 30 minutes. That's a good stopping part. Come on. Thank you. Yes, we do. Save, complete, sweet. Alrighty.